Oh, oh, oh. What up guys and welcome to another one. Oh god, sorry. Didn't mean to go waving that thing in your face and everything. Always gun safety, always gun safety. Keep the tip down, boys. Keep it pointed to the ground. We know the drill, don't we? Always. Always. Always gun safety. You guys know it. But as you guys know, I went to the Federal Factory and it was amazing. Big shout out to Federal right off the gate for providing today's ammo. We're going to uh, do a little bit of spray and pray action with the old contender today. This is a 410 pistol. Like you guys know, you guys have loved the 410 contender videos. Big thanks to Jordan for providing Not a problem at all. this bad boy. So the plan is today, Jordan's got the 12 gauge, I got the 410 contender, and it's a little contender challenge. The idea is I shoot first, he backs me up. At least we might kill something if we if this doesn't work, but we're gonna go through a lot of ammo today with the old contender, I'm telling you right now. But before we get started, guys, I got to tell you that the new June Ducks t-shirt of the month is up and she's available. Check her out right here. Oh my goodness, it turned out so good and Brad did an amazing job. Big shout out to Brad. Yeah, it's amazing. If you guys wanna pick one up or sign up for the t-shirt of the month, I will link it at the top of the description down below. But I'm gonna put on the old GoPro. We're gonna load up start spraying and praying here we might go say what's up to uh old linda over there we need to go say what's up to linda she's like oh just pet me linda is like the most domesticated milking cow dairy cow here on the farm and i've never introduced her but we pet her every time we walk by well so the story with linda is my buddy brian that owns the farm here he was in a really bad farming accident got caught underneath an implement and basically it's a miracle that he's alive but anyway uh, there were a group of fourth graders at a school that took, I think, six or seven calves and raised them for them um, while he was in the hospital for those two or three months. And so they got lots of extra attention. So right. that's why Linda is so easy to get along with. But yeah, that's the story behind her. Pretty much domesticated by children. I mean, what nicer of a cow could you breed? I mean, we go up to her, you pet her, she licks your hand. Literally, she's just like a dog. Oh, there's Linda. Her number's 1970. Come here, old Linda. I'm not saying Joe Linda. We're saying old Linda. Come here, Linda. Come here, girl. Oh, look at her. She's like, I guess. I guess I'll go up there and, and let you pet me. But her number is 1970, as you can see there. And she is the one that was raised by the fourth graders. Oh, look at this guy. He's like, what are you doing? Dude, your tongue straight up feels like sandpaper, bro. Oh, yeah, Joe Linda. Oh, Stop. Yeah. Just give him a good licking. Oh, gee, many Christmas. Linda, how are you doing? Old 1970. What a good girl you are. She is. Oh, and you too? Yeah. Old 1964. What, what are we going to name you? You guys got to drop a comment down below. Let's let's name old 1964 here. And, and heck, we'll just we'll just name... Oh, no, Linda! Linda! No! To Linda, easy, easy. We got to name 61 and 64. Because they're nice. They're nice cows. And you don't get too close because they will eat the clothes right off of you. So drop a comment down below and let's name these bad boys. Let's go shoot some. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. We are ready to roll. Oh my goodness, I have waited for this day, dude. We've been planning this video for quite some time for y'all because we know that you guys have loved the last contender videos that we did. The pigeon. I mean, that's really the only one that we've done. That's pretty much... Have we used it in other? Oh, we used it for like two seconds or something yeah. else, but I mean, not a video with the contender. Right. So, if you guys are excited and like the contender videos, these videos right here, you gotta give us a big ol' thumbs up. You know the drill. Let us know that you guys wanna see more of these and we will do them. I better stop blabbing. I better load this bad boy up. Just cowboying it. <laughs> I've been missing cowboying, oh, dude. I've been missing these videos. I've been missing being out here on the farm shooting. But as you can see, we've had a ton of water. The, the old poop pond here is really hot. I mean, really, really hot. Everything. Really hot. Everything. Oh my goodness. There's You're, water everywhere. His house is actually flooding out as we speak. I haven't lived at my house for over a week. Probably won't be back there for another week. Yeah, you've had to walk a mile in each time you want to go home just to check on the animals, haven't you? Yep. A mile in. Our arc. The Arkansas River, guys, the Arkansas River, however you want to pronounce it, it is completely overfilling, overflowing, literally flooding out towns. It's a bad deal let's, for that. Let's get over there where they're crossing. Yep, yep. Well, we're going to head on over here. Uh, we see a good old pattern. The starlings 
are on over here. Uh-oh, we got a poop crossing and we're both in Crocs. Never good situation here. Oh, yeah, I, I catch your drift. Yep, yep. Dude, you are way too fast. Holy smokes. I wouldn't have wore the old Crocs if I knew I was going to be treading over poop all day. Man, this flood, dude. It has pushed poop everywhere. It's pushed everything. Yeah, man. You can tell. All this poop usually ain't here. The flooding is just ridiculous. It's affecting everything. Ooh, right there. Yep. It ain't going to be easy. With the pistols easy. No, nothing with the contender is easy at all. Whew. Where? Kind of hard to see. I can't see him. Oh, right there. Yep, I see him. That one right there? Yeah, shoot him. Oh, we got one up in the tree. I'm going to give her a oh. whirl here. Oh, he, he, flew. he flew. Oh, come over here, over here. Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. Oh, there was two of them right there. Where was I low? A little bit low. Gosh darn it. Well, that was my shot. Completely wasted it. Ah! Load her back up. Try again. That was an easy shot. I can't believe I missed that it. That was an easy one. Darn it. They came flying out of this earlier. I bet they're nesting in it. Yeah, I bet so. Ooh! Caught me off guard. You made me jump a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're not going to get a shot on that one anyway. I'm going to shoot at it. <laughs> oh, it's okay, big girls. Look, look. Now, guys, the cows are used to the booms. They're used to the shooting, so don't think we're scaring them at all. It's just that we walked up to them feet and we spooked them a little bit. But uh, I'm telling you what, at the end of the day, these cows, if they had a brain big enough to show a little appreciation, they'd be taking us out to dinner and everything. Yeah. Maybe they will later. Yeah, maybe they will. You never know. But what happens is the starlings, guys, they come in here and see this? Look, that's the good stuff. Look at this. That's the good stuff. That's look, better stuff. Oh, look, that's chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So they take all the good stuff out of their feed, man. It's not good. So I'll let you go up on the I'll ground. get up on the roof if you want to do the groundwork. Then I'll, I'll all right. The, the kick them out theory. All right. Maybe I can. Don't shoot me now. Don't shoot you. <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> All right, a lot of you guys have uh, requested that we get up on the uh, the old shed roof and do some hunting, but I tell you what, a full hunt up here, you're not going to shoot much. It's the only time that you can really use it. It's right off the get-go. All right, you ready? So, a little team effort here. Let's roll. I don't want to shoot that tractor, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll go around. I'm going to go around here. Must watch out for power lines. Never a good deal. All right, you're good. Now, this is where we want to be. If we flush out some pigeons, this is where we want to be. Nobody home? There's nobody home? There's always somebody home. Oh, this is where I smoked that pigeon with the high bird ammo. There ain't nobody home today. The old Crocs. Yikes, I even still got the socks on. I didn't mean to keep the socks on. Oh, you're lucky, dude. Starling right there, missed him. Oh, he was, he was, yeah, I bet he was every bit of 30 yards, 25 yards. Pretty far for the old contender, but like I said, we got enough ammo from Federal today, we're gonna spray. We are going to pull the trigger whenever we can. Not another time. Again, guys, there's not very many starlings out here right now. The winter time is when the starlings really gather around and uh, they gather up around here because of food. I mean, essentially, the starlings come to the... Oh, God, no. The starlings come to the dairy essentially so heavy during the winter because it's a reliable food source. So, the spring and summer, is when we really start losing them around here but that's good 
Because now they're not pooping in the cattle's food. No poop, not as much disease issue. No poop in the feed equals happy farmer. Oh, you got him before I did. Sorry, I waited as long as I was comfortable. <laughs> I was like, he shot, I shot. Yeah, he was dead right before I pulled the trigger. Oh. But that's our first one down. We're just gonna call that a team effort. Oh, big time. <laughs> oh, big time. He got a double tap. He got a double tap around me. Load her up. Yeah, this contender, dude. Even if you're not shooting anything, it's still so much fun. Oh, yeah. Literally. Boom! Just breathe and let her go, boys! <laughs> like you're just cowboying it everywhere you go. Oh, there he is right there. I'll get him. Dead boy. That's a dead boy. That bit, that boy right there, that boy right there, him dead. Him is dead. Can you, oh, ooh, I thought you were going. Can you imagine if we shot a banded starling? Oh. How amazing <laughs> that would be. Now it's literally, it would never happen because they're so invasive, they reproduce so fast. Nobody bans them, I can guarantee it. It would but, literally be a pet. Yeah. If you guys have ever heard about anybody banning starlings, which is crazy, it probably has never happened, drop a comment down below. Well, uh, we've kind of flushed out this side of the farm. Yeah, as you guys can tell, the starlings just aren't here in abundance like they were. I mean, nah. it has naturally just been decreasing by the week, which doesn't make for very fun shooting. Not as fun as shooting. Not near as intense. Yeah, it's not near as intense. That's for sure. It's not the bring a sleeve. Yeah, you better. Yeah, bring you a better, box. It'll be alright. Yeah, you better bring it. On on the good days during the winter, guys, you better bring you a hundred rounds. Oof. 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 Dude, that was close. I totally missed that one. Yeah, he went right over the shed, dude, and I shot him right when he was above it. I don't think I got him. I better go check. I don't think I hit him. Oh, oh, this is. Oh yeah, you. Oh, you got brave and you just manned right through it, didn't you? Well, I'm not barefoot. But yeah, true. Oh, hi there, girls. Oh, there's 1715. What are you doing? All right, this is a good shed. We're gonna try to uh, flush something out of it here. There's usually some starling right there. Oh. Oh. I was just saying, there's usually yeah. some starlings in there. Boom! Gosh, darn it, there's probably, I probably scared them out. Probably was the only one, too. That probably was the only one. I can smell it. We got Russell Stovers in here. Literally, I'm not kidding. I'm really not, oh my, that's a lot of caramel this time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got a, a new shipment of chocolate and caramel. This chocolate I've showed you guys before, but it's literally from Russell Stover's, from the Russell Stover factory. This is all their throwaway. Look, see that? Ew, there's a, uh, look at the Reese Pieces right there. Is that in a wrapper? Yeah, is it? That's really nasty. That's just oh, a wrapper. Yeah. That's definitely been opened up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not scared, just, I'd rather not. Yep. And then all the white stuff, you might think that's mold, but that is all sugar. Pretty crazy, right? I know, the first time I seen it, I'm like, what <laughs> in the world? But it's used as a supplement for corn. A sugar supplement, actually. Pretty darn neat. Wait till it gets hot. It turns into just a river of chocolate because it oh. gets like 100 degrees here in Kansas <laughs> all the time. Chocolate doesn't do well in the heat. It looks like Willy And it's Wonka. just like, uh Yeah. Looks like that river from Willy Wonka. Oh yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot. Oh, there might be more. We just got I hope caught. so. We just got caught off guard. Come on, give us one more. Oh, we missed them. We were not ready. Hello? We were not ready. Sparrow. No. Well, 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 no luck over at the hay bale, but we've been seeing like two to three starlings just come in and out of here. My guess is, is that they're building nests up here in the rafters. So what we're going to do, they didn't see us walk in. We're going to post up and we're going to hide. Maybe one here, one here, or whatever. We're going to wait for them to swing around this corner and come in the old barn. We're going to surprise them with the old contender. Swing around the corner here. Oh, there it went. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's literally a half second window to get it done. Oh. Duration. 
That was definitely Eurasian. That was Eurasian. Darn it, I can't believe I missed him. Oh, there one went right there. We're, they're still gonna be coming. They probably don't even know where the noise came from. Yep, there was two. They're just out there a little too far. Yeah, I'm thinking if we actually had some decoys out here, it would keep their eyes off of us a little better. So, so if you guys want us to do that video, you need to drop a comment down below and let us know. Or you can just hit the thumbs up button by letting us know. I mean, either or guys, either or. I haven't heard it the whole do time. Do we have a little starling in here? Maybe a sparrow. Come on. Give me a sparrow. Come on. Oh. Dude. Dude, he literally came out right by our He's... legs. You serious? Are uh, you, I mean like, are you serious? Wow. We're all completely ready. Didn't think that there was one in there and the dude comes diving out at our kneecaps. Little scoundrel. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Pigeon, dude. Pigeon. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing. Nothing. We suck again. Uh, <laughs> you lose. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, come on, man. You wanted me to pet you. Oh, hi, buddy. I don't have food. No, my fingers are not food. No. Just a cute little guy. So, a few yep. months old. Uh, sorry, 214. 214? 214. So we're looking February at what, four 14th. months? Four months we're old? Valentine's Day baby. Almost four months old. Oh, he is a Valentine's, Valentine's Day baby. Day. That's why he's so sweet. Will you he's like, oh, let me have them fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we are wrapping it up and uh, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, what did we down? Like, I think we only downed two. And I got to say, the contender definitely helped on one of them. But yeah, it only helped on one of them. I didn't down one completely by myself with a contender. But big shout out to Jordan for letting me man it the whole time. It's so much fun. For this to be your gun and just let your buddy shoot it and you don't touch it, it's pretty special. So big shout out to Jordan. He's actually going to be creating his own YouTube channel here pretty darn soon. So y'all better be looking out for that when he launches his channel. You know I'm going to let all you guys know because I know how much you guys like Jordan. He's going to have an awesome, awesome farm channel. So be expecting that. Well, I guess I got to give that back. Oh, it's so hard to let the old contender go. Dude, it's a beaut. I love that gun so much. She's a little beat up, but she's fun. We're going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to buy a judge. You know what? So we can both rock out. I think that's a that's like a given now. I'll be at a disadvantage, but I'll have a choke gun too, though. Yeah, so. you'll have. He's able to uh, change out chokes I in the contender. So. I gotta look again. I thought they had interchangeable, but I'm not sure. I know I can take the choke out, but that might be just for the for when you put in the 45 long. Cold. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe you don't want to shoot it with that in there for sure, but. If you guys know anything about the judge compared to the contender, drop a comment down below. Be like Bobby, no, stick with the contender, or no, you need to try the judge because it's awesome. So. I greatly appreciate your guys' two cents all of the time. But I want to tell you guys, thank you guys for the view. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for loving these farm videos. I have been loving getting out here on the dairy farm. Big shout out to the farm owners. I'm not going to give out their names because I don't want to give out any private information like that. And big shout out to old Jordan for getting out here with me yet again. It's always a pleasure. It's always fun, isn't it? A lot of fun. It's always fun. It's like I can do it by myself, but I mean, what's the fun in that? Because I can say, I, do, I shot a starling at 55 yards. Right. But no. if they all but see if it, they see it <laughs> yeah. then it's like, yes, yeah. that happens. I told him about your YouTube channel coming, dude. <laughs> I told him about it. I told him that's going to have a lot of farming. Too much in pressure it. out there. Bro. I'm going to put pressure on him. So you guys got to put some pressure on him as well. He's got to do it. But guys, subscribe if you haven't. We're gonna be coming with a lot of these videos, a lot of the dairy farm videos, a lot of the shotgun shooting videos, a lot of the catch clean cooks. This is an invasive species, the starling is. We've already cooked them, we've already ate them. We know what they, we know what they taste like. So it just would have been repetitive, right? But thank you all for being here yet again. We will see you on the next one. Peace.